Okay, in this type of question, what we're going to do is look at what happens when we have unknowns in the denominator. Absolutely similar to any sort of fraction, we're going to choose something to multiply by that will clear all of the denominators. So, I'm going to write these terms out again, but leave some spaces. And I'm going to pick a, a number, like 12, that 2, 3, and 4 will all go into. I could have also picked 24 or 36, but 12 is smaller. Now the only difference is I'm going to do everything not just by 12, but by 12x. And that's going to get rid of the x on the bottom, as well as get rid of the... Um, all of the other numbers on the bottom. Okay, let's see what I end up with here. 2 into 12 is 6, so 2x into 12x goes 6 times 5, that gives me 30. Okay, 12x times 6 is 72x, don't forget that minus sign. Here, 12x divided by 3. The x cancels the x. 3 into 12 is 4. 4 times 4 gives me 16. Over here, 12x divided by 4x leaves me with 3. 3 times 9 is 27. And then I have 12x times 1, which is just 12x. Okay, at this time it's a good example of what happens when we have unknowns on the right-hand side. So let's take this minus 72x and take it over to the other side. And this 27 and bring it to this side. Here's now what it's now going to look like. I have 30 here. I have plus 16 here. And the plus 27 becomes minus 27 when it switches sides. On the right-hand side, I have 12x. The minus 72x becomes plus 72x on this side. Now let's work out what we've got. 30 plus 6 is 46. 46 take away 27 is 19. On the right-hand side, I have 12 and 72, so I have 84x. Okay, now we follow the same sort of rules we've already been doing, except we're going to work on the right-hand side. X has been multiplied by 84, so the opposite of multiplying is dividing. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. And we're now in a situation where the 84s cancel. And I'm left with 19 over 84 equals x. And it's quite all right to write your question that way. But if you prefer, you can bring the x onto this side and say x is 19 over 84. Or you can take your calculator out and change that to whatever decimal it works out to. And that's the end of the lesson there.